it wasn't good. Academics basically flat out refused to comment on the little boom allegations, which is pretty terrible considering that he speaks about everybody else. But academics refused to talk about little boom being accused of being a pedo, even though he was very vocal about ripping into Diddy when that Diddy shit went down. And obviously he's always has his foot on fucking, you know, Blueface's neck when it comes to the Crayshawn situation. When in theory, academics has his own Crayshawn situation with this Shay girl. She's basically his Crayshawn and he can't see that. Um, but let's play the clip of him um, addressing the little boot allegations. So I know some people feel like maybe I, like, I don't really give a fuck about my face. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Lil. Whenever, they, whenever anyone says I don't give a fuck They usually give a fuck Whenever When anyone says I don't give a fuck They usually give a fuck They usually give all the fucks Especially if they keep saying I don't give a fuck They definitely give a fuck When somebody doesn't give a fuck They just don't talk about it Or they mention it in passing But if you keep saying Man I don't give a fuck Man 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 You give a fuck Little boom Look how quiet he is. Look at how he's... Have you ever seen academics so mindful of his words, so careful of what he says? When he talks about other people, he lets it rip, right? He crashes out. He loves crashing out. He loves getting drunk and saying crazy shit about people or two people. Suddenly now it affects one of his close friends, somebody who slept at his house, who's a big group, big part of the chat niggas community on the Discord who maybe played some part in his success, one of his best friends maybe, now he's suddenly like minding his words, thinking on what to say, picking his words, choosing his words. Funny. I don't know nothing about nothing. I ain't talking about nothing. I'm chilling. Y'all niggas will get mad. All y'all fucking won. Pedo got, shit. Y'all yeah. niggas gonna deal with it. Imagine. Nigga, your, I came in the game like this thing. Your I'm boy got like accused this. of pedo shit and you're anyway. saying nothing. I think I addressed it. Maybe there's one thing to say. If you're a friend, loyal friend, you just shouldn't talk about it at all. But refuse to talk about it in this kind of braggadocious, cocky way, it's kind of gross when your friend's been accused of what he's been accused of. That's kind of wild, especially when you're so quick to talk about other people. Hypocrisy. We got a few failing content creators who are now focused on me. I like that. One of them, I could hit you with a nuclear bomb, but I won't even do it. Regardless, um, for the people who care, I'm in a pretty good space. Imagine we're talking about you and your friends and then you start threatening other people. You, fret, you start threatening to reveal other people's secrets. That's when you know you're, again, I like academics. I like his streams. I really do. But he does have piece of shit tendencies. We're talking about you, not them. Why are you now talking about exposing them? Come on, bro. Either you don't, ex even if you don't talk about it, which I, I can somewhat understand the premise. I think Ari Shafir spoke about it. Just be like, you know, I'm not going to talk about it. It's my friend. You don't need to publicly cancel your friend. I don't, I don't really believe that's necessary. You know, if, if that's your friend in real life, just don't talk to him anymore. You don't need to come out and make declarations and statements. If anything, coming out and making public statements about your friends, it almost sounds a little bit like, it almost seems a bit virtue signally. Like you're trying to make your seems, you're trying to make yourself look better because everybody obviously associates your friend with you. So you just want to make sure that there's some distance and you're like, you know, you say what you know I mean. It's like, you don't really need to do all that. If you didn't do nothing wrong, you know what I mean? Whatever. You don't need to do all that shit though. Face. If you care about my man, because I ain't gonna lie to you, even today I'm like, yo, these niggas is so up. Yo, y'all have turned me more than a content creator. It's like I'm like a full-fledged celebrity. It's like, yo, Ak is driving today. <laughs> I'm like, really? I can't, I right, bet. I'm just going to put out whatever that y'all can believe. Okay, cool. There's that clip. I'm going to play you all the clips because I, I took I took loads of clips from the live stream because some of these clips are fucking legendary. Let's play another one too where he kind of addresses the little bit allegations and then we're going to go through all of them one by one because I think they're so fucking good because he really crashes out and refuses to accept any, refuses to take any criticism. I think he tells his mods to like ban people if they start telling him to be accountable. And he basically just crashes out. He basically crashes out. Then play another one. This is number two. I think they're all fucking brilliant. Let's play another one here. Um, there you go. 
Another great one. You don't see, I want me to, because I'm telling you, um, boom, my nigga, I'm not talking about nothing. I don't even know what's going on. With, I'm not talking about that. Uh, get mad. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> not talking about it. I don't know what's, what's up with that. I don't know. I'm not talking about it. Um, and I ain't talked to my homie yet, so that's, I got to talk My to homie. So get mad. I don't care. Yo, imagine going on air and confirming that guy's your homie after getting accused of touching a 10-year-old. You're basically just as bad as him. At this point, you're just as bad as him. If you're going on camera and saying, that's my homie, I'm not going to talk about it, get mad, you're basically just as bad as him. One more time. You don't see I want me to, because I'm telling you, um, boom, my nigga, I'm not talking about... He sounds out of breath. He has that thing where people get nervous. He has that, like, tense... His neck is, like, tensing up where he can't, you know... He's almost like... He's gonna have an he's gonna have an anxiety attack. <laughs> he kind of sounds like it, you know. I don't even know what's going on. With, I'm not talking about that. Uh, get mad. Shut up. <laughs> not talking about it. I don't know what's, what's up with that. I don't know. I'm not talking about it. Um, bad boy, bad boy act. And I ain't talked to my homie yet, so that's, I gotta talk to him. My so, homie, you know. Get mad. I don't care. So that's act saying that. Do we need another one? Another clip of him protecting his boy, Little Boom. There you go, it's loading now. This is a good. Oh, this is a good. This is a great one. Um, I think this is the one where Adam Twenty Two texts him midstream, which is great content. Big up Adam Twenty Two for being a troll. He decides to text academics mid rant. And obviously, academics responds very badly because, you know, Adam 22 was trying to kick his back in when all the allegations came out. So watch academics react when he gets a text from Adam 22 live as he's crashing out. I think this is the one. I think so. If y'all are done, if y'all are done, if y'all are done asking about these things, I, I, I think y'all... Somebody said, act, just address, bro, I'm not, go nigga, you know I could read, right? Nigga, I see I type, I'm not talking about boom. I've been told y'all, nigga, I'm not talking about it. I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> not about to go off, no video about it. This is somebody who has slept in my house, nigga, me and him will talk. This and third, nigga, none of y'all pressure Yo, me. Admitting that, that, admitting that he slept in your house after the other allegations is crazy. I would have kept that to myself. Yeah, you know I mean, you don't need, you didn't need to say all that. <laughs> Do motherfucking shit, nigga. Like, what y'all talking about? You crazy? Boy, y'all gonna respect the game, nigga. Y'all gonna respect me, nigga. Man, put it like this. I don't care what none of y'all niggas say. No, hold on. Let me. I, like, some of y'all really. When he, when he starts talking like this, it always makes me laugh because he tries to talk like he has bass in his voice, but he doesn't. And he tries to talk with a bit of like oomph, right? He tries to like give it something. Nah, y'all niggas. Y'all, you know, he tries to talk like a bad boy, but it's, there's, there's nothing bad about him at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's, he literally cried on air because Sulzi Santana threatened to fuck him. It's like. <laughs> We, we don't believe you bro we don't believe you i like academics but when you get some of these tough guy shit it's like so funny be, be thinking like let me pop my shit i don't care where you on pop my, pop my shit. nigga this whole empire was built because of me nigga stop fucking playing nigga i don't yeah, care nigga. what none of y'all niggas is saying like i'll let y'all rock run the show for a lot but nigga it's nigga i'm the person who make the final call uh, nigga yeah. i'm not talking about boom boom my nigga i'm gonna keep saying that and by the way, whatever y'all talking about with him, I ain't looking to, I'm going to talk to that nigga first. Period. And if that nigga want to come on here to talk about it, he going to come on here to talk about it. That's how, bro, I'm Jesus a loyal nigga, bro. I ain't going to. Loyal ain't, nigga for Peter shit. Y'all, let me tell you this. I've been popping too long. That is crazy. I'm a loyal nigga. Let a crowd sway me away shit. from anything. Man, y'all niggas done say I was gay and I wasn't gay. Y'all niggas done say my dick small and I ain't my dick. That's not the same, bro. That's a false equivalence. That's not the same. That isn't the same. Your boy's got paperwork on him touching a 10-year-old in Target. Y'all niggas done say I got herpes. Y'all niggas been saying everything about me. Nigga, I don't care. You think you can force me to do some shit? Sit here and watch me. You know what y'all done said about me? Bad Even the boy. people who claim they love me. Y'all done said. Y'all repeated boy. what the ops done said, what a girl done said, what another fool done said. Y'all been saying everything about me. I don't care no more. Bad boy act. Act the bad boy. Okay. Don't fuck around with him. He'll fuck you up. Um. 
Yeah. So, at the end of the day, man, you know, obviously I love y'all, but it's like, I, I think sometimes. No, you don't. You don't love them. Y'all trying to see a free reality show, and, and, and you know, there might be a reality show, but it's going to be on my terms. Nah, that's the thing, though. It's not. That's a, that's a, that's what's funny. That's maybe that's where karma comes in, because he keeps kicking Blueface back in because of the whole Crayshon thing, right? Obviously, it's a bit of a mess. We know it, but you're no better than Blueface and Crayshon. It's the same thing every week. It's another scandal. It's another fucking revelation. You know, he's you can't choose when you're the reality show. It's like you can't choose if you're a low cow or you're not. You know. You are a locale and you are in your own reality TV show and you didn't start it. You know what I mean? It's the people around you, circumstances around you. It's the consequences of your actions that have led to this. <laughs> he can't handle it. <laughs> right? I see everybody around me. The ops can't get no, they can't get no attention because you know what it is? They can't stand on the mic and talk like I'm talking. I'm about to hit 15 topics straight by myself. No discord, no nothing. They can't do that. They got five other waste men around them. What a weird. Yo, could you chime in argument. on this? Man, shut up, nigga. Could you, could you, hey, listen. Your, your boy gets accused of pedo shit and you start talking about how you can do the whole show by yourself. Okay. You do, no, nigga. This the meta, nigga. Like, none of y'all, like, listen, the reason why I'll, I'll be laughing at all y'all until any one of you pussy niggas, period, can sit on a mic and just do what I do. Man, y'all niggas shut up, nigga. Y'all niggas chumps. Y'all niggas got 20 niggas around trying to, Contribute to nigga. I'm building the academy, nigga, because I want to, nigga. Act been the nigga. Big act been the nigga. Cringe. Can't. Imagine giving yourself a nickname, Big Act. Imagine calling yourself that. No one ever called him that before he said it. That's like Brian Callen calling himself the kid. Just giving yourself a nickname, the kid. Why are you called the kid when you're old? You've never looked young for your age. Br Br Brian's the kind of person, Brian Callen, he's the kind of person that he looked. He looked 30 when he was 25. <laughs> so why are you ever called the kid? Where's that come from? You just want to give yourself a nickname because you had no, you know, you didn't, you didn't grow to a normal school. You went to an international school where most kids probably are barely there. They're all probably medicated and just hating life because they're the sons and daughters of like, you know, um, war criminals, right? <laughs> you're just in these weird industrial school where there's no real community there's no vibe or anything so you miss out on like prom you miss out on regular like high school college shit so brian kellen an effort to kind of recreate that you know a bit of imagined nostalgia gives himself a nickname same with ak he was probably never cool you probably never really had a big group of friends um he kind of always felt maybe a bit left out maybe ostracized so you know what around that time he grew up Everyone had a little, like, you know, name, nickname, or a given name that was handed to them by somebody in the hood, in the street, maybe based on something dumb they said, or how they eat, or how they look, whatever. And he went to recreate that and said, you know what? I'm giving myself a nickname. Fuck all that shit. It's Big Act. And here we are. And ain't no other nigga who's just solo, who been running this shit for 10 years. Nigga, I just, I just said, you know what? I love my audience. I love the chat. Nigga, I took a million dollars and I just invested in the academy, nigga. That's what I did. I hired When a guy starts talking about money, when his boy get accused of pedo shit, that's when he knew he was lost. I'm invested in the academy, nigga. I've been rich, nigga. I've got, nigga, I'm driving money. all type of shit, nigga. How's it? driving. Okay. Nigga, I'm taking my money and investing in this. I don't need to have nobody but me. I'm here right now. I'm violating. Anybody could go crazy. Not going to lie. I'd rather be broke and not a pedo than a pedo with money. I'm not going to lie. It's not really a not. It's not really an option, you know. There's only one choice there. <laughs> Would you rather be rich and be a pedo, or be broke and not be a pedo? I just don't want to be a pedo. Full stop. So you know, whatever. I'd rather fucking, you know, rub two sandwiches together for a week, than fucking be, you know, a, be accused of being a pedo but driving a Ferrari. No, thank you. Like. I'm not mad at y'all. I'm just trying to tell y'all what it is because I think, you know, I be I, like, I'll hear people say shit and then y'all forget that w before a year ago, we don't forget. Act was solo doing everything for 10 years. So when I hear people like, yo, 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 they're trying to destroy you. My nigga, name one nigga who could go at me on the mic. I violated them all. <laughs> 
What a weird defense, honestly. Name one. What a weird defense. I swear to God, what a weird defense. Who? Tell me, tell me a name. I, I violate him right now, too. Who? Anyway, that's his defense there. I don't really know what that point is that he's making. But I guess he's just making the point that, hey, no one can touch me. I'm the guard, the guard MC. Well, this is the best one so far. This is the best one. So he finally gets on stream again and then starts to blast Adam22, Wack 100 and Leonard the Plug. This might be the most epic part of the live stream that I'm going to play for you now. Academics goes absolutely crazy on here. Um, I'll play a bit for you and then I'll move on. But this is a really good, this, this is a really, really fucking good one. Let's play it for you now. They got came for the war. Get yeah, there you go. See, see, yeah. he gets angry. I think Adam Twenty Two texts him there, and he gets upset that Adam Twenty Two is texting him on the on the side. Like, I don't do pussy shit neither, think, man. Yo, yo, Adam, don't even text my phone, nigga. Like, you see, see, I don't, I don't like pussy shit. Like, yo, Adam. Let me talk to you, my nigga. I ain't even gonna text you back. I seen you text. I ain't gonna text you back, nigga. I'm gonna, bro. I ain't got time for this, nigga. <laughs> Here I'm gonna tell you, you you're on weirdo timing. You want me to tell you how you're on weirdo timing, my nigga? I'm gonna tell you on your on weirdo, bro. First and foremost, let me just tell you this. Let me just like straight up and foremost. I've been told you, nigga. I've cried on stream. There's nothing you can say about me. You can. But that's the thing he doesn't realize. Crying on stream doesn't mean no one can say anything about you. It just means people think you're a bitch. Which you're never gonna shake now because we've seen you cry on stream. We saw him cry when Dita Zimero went at him. We saw him cry with the whole Sosa Tantana thing. He always, you know, crying. But I, I think he just sees it as a, you know, whatever. But it's like, no, not really. You can't talk tough shit and then cry on stream when people say words to you. That doesn't work that way. Say anything about me and Ak will still survive. Let me just say this to you, my nigga, and anybody else. Don't be listening to whoever you're listening to. You to having me. any picture about me is never ammo. I think Nick it. I think it is. He's trying to downplay the whole dick pic thing, but it's. I'm surprised he has more smoke for the people that received the dick pic than the person that took it and sent it without his consent. That Shay girl should be getting all his anger, all his frustration should be going at that Shay girl. She's the one that leaked that picture to his friends and his close and en his slash enemies. Because what? Because they had an argument. She allegedly did that because what? They had a falling out. That's super out of order. Super fucked up. He should be having that energy for her, not for Adam Twenty Two and Whack. Nigga, you have a picture of me sitting at. It's not. By the way, it's not my streaming computer. A picture of my lower body where my dick is flaccid. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Explaining that your dick was flaccid. That's why it looks small. Is a is a automatic L. Automatic L. Having to explain that on stream is an automatic L. Where are you? I don't care. That will never end me, my nigga. Okay, cool. Even if niggas say, all right, act you have small dick. All right, cool. You think that's the jugular? No, but it's embarrassing. I, I like how he's trying to act like the things that he does aren't, isn't, aren't embarrassing and don't shine him in a good light. That's what is the problem. You do embarrassing shit. People remember it. They remind you of it. They share it online. And everyone else sees it and it becomes super embarrassing then. He's trying to act like he's not ever embarrassed. He's like, come on, bro. Nigga, are you stupid, nigga? Little boy, are you stupid? Nigga, this is act. Do you are you stupid? He hates Ak. You think you have one picture that's so niggas act. They, they hate each other so much. It's nigga, so I've been embarrassed 50 million times in public. Are you? Imagine bragging about that. I've been embarrassed 50 million times. Imagine happily bragging that you've been embarrassed so many times. It doesn't matter. It's like, um, I don't think that's what you should be admitting, my love. You stupid little nigga. Let me tell you why I know you're trying to play with me. Because you and your little weirdo niggas over there, who all, by the way, I don't know what type of pussy niggas you done hired. They all cop to plea after they post some shit. I ain't even, nigga, I'm in Utah. I'm on the mountain barely having... A, I'm getting texts from your employees. Hey, act. I hope you're not mad. Nigga, what are you talking about? I don't even know. Bro, y'all don't even stand on business, man. We beefing or not. Nigga, we warring or not. Nigga, I came for the war. Get boom out of your boom. Go sit over there for two months. Go figure out. I'll get to you soon. But let me. What? You're advising your pedo friend how to get around the what? The questions.
or how to maneuver the quote unquote cancelling. You're telling your pedo friend how to do that on air. He squabble. I like a squabble. <laughs> okay. Here was this nigga Adam fin gonna say to me. LOL, you really think I was hating on you? The next line tell me the nigga is hating on me. Gang, hear what he says. I told Shay all this early on the phone. Yo, pussy, nigga, you, me and you traded secrets to get you out of lawsuits, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I told you, you told me niggas is suing you like they sued me, nigga, for shit that got to do with how we run our company. Not that's when he realized, I think, in real time that none of these guys are your friends, bro. They don't owe you shit. And if anything, he should also know that he's a he's a big player in the hip-hop game. He commands a lot of attention. So if he does something crazy, of course people are going to talk about it. Told you how to get out of it, nigga. Nigga, I told you I paid hundreds of thousands and I gave you the cheat code. I paid it before you, nigga. I told you how to get out of it. You know why? That's when I said, bro, like, me and you can never beef no more. You help me with shit too, Snapchat, all that. Bro, some shit like this happened this week. You don't even hit me. You hit a bitch. You hit a woman. You, anytime you hit. <laughs> Academics being offended by that sort of stuff. And it's funny when you see how he gets at women. Now he's trying to be Mr. Gentleman, Mr. Chivalry, right? <laughs> me. If you got some drama, you want me to react for your views, you hit me. This time around, you hit a woman? Bro, you got my number. You ain't use it till right now. I'm on stream, nigga. You a bitch for that, bro. I got to keep it a beam. You a bitch for that, nigga. You a whole hoe for that, nigga. I don't hold no, like, my nigga, I'm not sitting back on shit for y'all niggas. Okay. You not, a, you not no, like, and by the way, you know why you shouldn't even tell a bitch? I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't tell a bitch, because you know what she told me? She what say, Adam been really upset ever since you talked about his wife. He said that's why he's, Makes that's sense. what she told me, by the way. That's why he's saying this all about, he's saying all this about people around you. And, I, and I'm looking, I'm like, Adam must not know me. Man, fuck what you just said about Boom, nigga. If you love your wife, you wouldn't even talk about me like that again. Because, nigga, I'm, I'm the worst nigga on earth, nigga. So why is you hitting her if me and you supposedly have a, bro, we've communicated on mad shit. Okay, and? But you want some bitch shit, that's a fact. So when you trying to, oh, act, I'm, my nigga, I'm not them little niggas you hire at no jumper, nigga. I'm a boss too, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? The text you sending me right now when I'm on stream, because you know I'm about to go bonkers on you, nigga. You could have sent before. Oh, but you think niggas is pussy. Oh, we got act. It, my nigga, I was in, I was in Utah cooling out. I, I'm really looking. I'm like, is Adam really serious? The whole time. Now. Let me tell you, Adam, get off Reddit and shit like that. Nigga, you know me, nigga. Get off that shit. You gonna let them niggas gas you up like, oh, hey, you got a picture of Ack. My nigga, I'll take a picture of myself and put it out there. You can't, nobody could do nothing to me like that. Mm. I don't care. Will he do it though? Will he I don't through? care. So what, is he, is he gonna post his own dick pic then? Is he gonna try and post his own dick pic to get in front of the story? I don't like pussy shit, man. The reason why I'm saying what you did was pussy shit, because... Anyway, you got the gist of it. You got the gist of it. Back and forth they go. No idea how this ends. Uh, lame from academics, to be fair. Much as I like him, super lame. Not wanting to comment on a little boom thing, even though he's always commenting on people's shit and putting himself in people's business. Um, the stuff about that on and off girlfriend is fucking wild. I don't know what that girl has on him. Maybe she does. Maybe she does have a little bit of that. Um, what's that thing called? Maybe she does have a little bit of that... Um, of that Krayshawn power. She has some of that, you know, down below. She might have some of that Krayshawn power, which is why I can't let it go. Or maybe he actually is, like, without lack of a better term, maybe Academics is actually legitimately in love with that girl. And he just can't see past her or her mistakes. Or when she fucks up or when she puts his life in danger. Maybe she's actually really, really good at, you know, whatever she does. Um, but yeah, man, weird situation. Not really sure how this ends for everybody involved, but, 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 um, crazy situation regardless. And we're eager to see how it plays out. We're eager to see how it plays out in real flipping time.